Welcome back to Fable of the Lost Chapters. I just got to Knothole Glade, so I can go ahead and work on the White Balverine quest. Hooray! I gotta kill White Balverine. Eventually, hey look, there's Balverine up there. But before I go over there, I'm gonna check up here because there's a chest. Need a path. With a chest. Probably a silver key. I don't remember. What is it? A silver key? No, it's an emerald. That That's cool, too. There's another demon door over there. I don't remember what it takes. Oh, wait. No, I remember now. You have to shoot it in the freaking face. So, I hope I can get over there before going to the Balverine. Yes, I can. Awesome. So, let's go ahead and shoot this thing in the face. Draw back all the way. Fire! You got the power. You open the gap. I'm not going to be doing the shooting game on here either. Just because I don't really want to deal with the shooting stuff. Because, I don't know, it sucks. I think it's the rain that's disagreeing with the fraps this time. It's messed up. It is it's really low. It's crazy. Elixir of life! Go figure! Now let's go up. Look down, too. No? Down doesn't increase frame rate. This kind of sucks. Or hopefully it'll stop raining soon. It's not always raining here. Okay, let's finally kill the stupid Balverine. Kill yo! You're dead! I killed you! There's another one! Hello! I'm gonna kill you too! Ow, bitch! You're a prick! You're a jerk! You're on the ground, I'm gonna stab you! Or... Maybe you're dead. Never mind. I don't need to stab you if you're dead. Because that just... That would be... Like stabbing a uh, cooked chicken. It's it's already dead. All they reason to stab a cooked chicken is to eat it. Knock you to the ground. Oh, I can't stab you. You're not knocked out. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! There's another one. I don't remember how many of them there are. No, get over here. No, stop going over there. Stupid! Stupid Balverine! It went away. I think it's pissed at me now. Because it went away. Yeah, it's pissed at me. Ha ha ha! I slowed time, then accidentally used magic on him. I just killed a Balverine again. They're a piece of cake to kill. Damn it, I didn't get experience from it. He's all cheering, or they're all cheering. And I get a fire to go in. I don't see how a gate can stop Balverines from getting in when there's clearly trees all over the freaking place. And they can jump up really freaking high. They can probably easily climb the damn gate, too. And his spiky tops are kind of... Super big, too, so it's not like it's gonna make a difference. They left the gate open, so it's like, get in here real quick! That way we can close the gate to keep them all out, but we leave the gate open. And look! The most dangerous one has entered the village! Wow, that's intelligence! <laughs> so stupid. Almost dead or done. There we go, I hit it ten times, and I just let it jump away. As soon as it freezes, or run away, whatever, it's running over there. I'ma follow it! Follow it! There's stuff to do in this little village area, too. Boy, gay! Just disappears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Then I gotta speak to his wife. And get a piercing, or no, not piercing augmentation, a silver augmentation. And the silver augmentation will make it so I can pretty much kill every Balverine in one or two hits. And that's kind of helpful to have. But the white Balverine, it takes more hits than two, obviously. But the only way to kill the Balverine on this quest is with, that's the wrong house, is with that piercing augmentation. Or not piercing, goddamn, I can't say piercing. I think that was the right place, I don't know. There's no green dot or anything, so I'll just check. Oh, hey, look, there's 
I guess I got close. You're gonna die. You just hit me. That's mean. You're mean. Why'd you hit me like that? Watch it jump away and disappear. <laughs> he just jumps up, starts to fall, and disappears. It's like magic. She looks like a regular village lady or something. I don't know. Something kind of like from Bowerstone, I guess. Except her eyes are kind of... Kind of glazed over a little bit. I don't know. Foggy. Colored. I don't know if every character is like that. I just noticed it with her because she's really, really white everywhere almost. She's wearing sort of white-ish clothing and stuff. It's kind of weird. That guy's got weird-ass, big-ass pupils. At least from the side. And his pain? Yes, thank you for the free augmentation. Even though there's more augmentations than that in the game. I'll be getting health augmentations and stuff later on, too. Or at least, I think I can. Yeah, I think the strongest weapons in the game also have health or magic. I don't remember what ones. Health or magic augmentations. Augment with a silver. I almost used piercing. That would have screwed me up. There we go. And I got to go kill him. Well, I'll hurt him into leaving this place. Then I got to chase after and kill him. Then I got to come back here and do some shopping and some fist fighting. And some other stuff. Ow, you just hit me. I only have to hit him five times this time. Because then he gets kind of scared and leaves. I'm going to hit him more. Just because I can. Oh, wow. Ha, ha, ha. I go. Oh, there's a chest over there I'm grab. Because I can. Yay. Okay, I'll come back with its head. As a reward. And, um, you can later put it on your trophy wall spot stuff. Opening in a chest. 1,000 gold. Hooray. And I don't think you can do anything with shopkeepers here until after you finish the quest. Because there's a shop down there and there's actually a weapon shop here. Probably armor too. I think you can get bright armor from this place. I don't remember though. I hope you can. Because that'd be cool. Because then I can finally get the bright armor. And then there is that one demon door that kind of requires bright armor stuff. So that would be kind of neat to go back to. And deal with and stuff. So let's go kill the thing. It's going to summon some more friends. And they're all going to die. Because I got a silver augment. Which is kind of cool. It's in the water. Like a jerk. Cause it's stupid. It's down there. So I gotta go all the way down this way and around. Kind of funny how there's no traders anywhere now. <laughs> Come through here the first time. No danger. There's traders. When there's danger, or then whatever. I fucked up what I was saying. And my brain kind of wandered away. I was not caring a whole lot, I guess. <laughs> there we go. It's almost dead. Every time it gets hurt, it calls a friend. And it's, it gets cowardly. Okay, it's dead. Never mind. Or not cowardly. I got its head. Check it out. I did skip. I should have skipped past that really quickly. I don't know how bloody stuff can be with YouTube videos exactly. I gotta try and be careful that next time. But I did skip away from it after a few seconds. Because I didn't realize how bloody it was going to be, but I didn't remember it being that bloody. <laughs> it is a game. Oh, well, it's a rated M game, anyways. I guess I didn't put a little thing in a video anywhere saying it's an M rated game. But, whatever. Damn it, would you guys stop being jerks? Stay still. There we go. There we go, I killed them all. I killed all of them. Now let's go turn the quest in and eat some meat, too. Wow, that meat heals a lot of hit points. It's messed up. Oh, hey, the trader. Please have emeralds. Please have emeralds. Please have emeralds. Please have 
What's in here? Um, what's in gifts? Ah, oh, bitch. He doesn't have emeralds. Will you buy emerald? No. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. He doesn't have emeralds. Jeez, whatever. I think the guy in Witchwood, or no, not Witchwood, not Whole Glade, does have emeralds, though. So I'll have to check him. How I can get money? Am I cool? Because lots of money is super helpful. Dude. I'll get like, uh, 500,000 or something, and then waste 100,000 on that one thing and put that away. That way I don't get mad. Hello! How are you? You're back in one piece. Yes, I am. And I got the head. It's not exactly the pelt, but it's a head. That ought to be good enough, right? I mean, come on. It's a head. It's probably more proof than the pelt. Because Pell, I mean, come on, seriously, someone could just leave the head by and say, That was disgusting, I smashed its head into pieces on accident. Teresa's letter, the bloodline, I'm not bothering to read those. Because I don't want to. It's not important to me. Some people might find it important for the story information of the games and series and stuff, but I don't. Saving. And check the shops, too. Um, there's shop. Oh, yeah, it's nighttime. I guess I can go over the fist fighting thing. Oh, yeah. Actually, let's teleport back to this place. Uh, just because I'm already here. That way it reloads. And where the hell am I? I am. No, not there. Where the hell? I know there's a teleport spot out here. Can I not teleport because I'm actually here or something? Jeez, fine, I'll leave the place. I guess I'll go out and then come back. I want to make absolutely sure it loads those fighters. And that is the end of this part. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. On the next part, I'm going to be doing the final fist fighting competition thingy. That should be kind of cool. And yeah, uh, if you do like the video, then go ahead and let me know with a like or a comment. And feel free to subscribe for more videos, it'd be kind of cool. And if you really want to, you can share the video. Maybe help me get noticed a little bit by having potentially new people clicking on the share and watching and doing the same things you're probably not doing that I ask you to do because I'm not popular. <laughs> I don't know. That's okay. I, don't, I, I get it. I'm not. But that'd be cool if I can be. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, guys. I'll see you guys on the next part. Thank you for watching. Accepting my very bad jokes. That probably aren't really funny to anyone except for me. I don't know. <laughs> but until the next part or some other video, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.